How's it going everyone? Sinistar of the Gamer section bringing you another review. And today I'm covering Smurfs Kart for the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The Smurfs are the latest popular IP to join the fun world of kart racing. Your favorites are all here from Papa Smurf, Smurfette to Hefty Smurf. Let's start with the visuals. The game looks great with its bright colors during the daylight races and the forest as the backdrop, and you have the shadows of the tunnels along with the shades of the rocks. The animation is not only fast but fluid too, along with its smoothness, and the frame rate is running at 60 frames per second. Now from the menu front, you know, you have different options. You have single player and multiplayer respectively. And for the extras, there's, you know, an album for stickers when you complete certain challenges. But through team races, you get tutorials from Brainy Smurf about the power-ups in the game. And as for the music, it's just like the cartoon, but nothing to jam home to. Now, previously, I reviewed a Nickelodeon's Car Racer. The presentation is about the same, but overall, younger players or Smurf fans will love this. Smurf's Kart is a racing game featuring characters from the popular cartoon. You can play this game alone in single player or with others in multiplayer. Single player has three options to choose from, and they are Time Challenge, Grand Prix, and Free Race. Time Challenge is your racing to get the best times plus nab and gold medals. Grand Prix takes you through different circuits from Smurf Village to Gargamel's Place. Each circuit has four races to complete before winning the cup. Last is Free Mode where you can set it up the way you want and race how you want. When it comes to the controls, you don't use the triggers to brake or accelerate, but the face buttons instead. Your racer can also drift to gain boost, and as you race, just like the previous car racer, you see icons that, that carry power-ups at your disposal. Your racer could use this to the advantage, but your opponent can do the same thing to you. Another thing is each smurf has a special power-up, like for example, Hefty has dumbbells, and you can run, use this to ram opponents around. The available power-ups you know, are available are the Bug Missile, which acts like the blue shell in the Mario Kart games, you have the acorn that ricochets, and you have the musical note that acts like a barrier, and etc. It's always nice to have choices. During one of the races, I encounter frame stuttering, plus, you know, this needs to be patched up. And another thing is, the CPU likes to cheat more than often by spamming the same powers over and over again, like those bug missiles. It's almost like, you know, they constantly spam like those blue shells, like in the Mario Kart games. Uh, Tossel, it's times, you know, it's hard to catch up to the leader because the CPU has no trouble catching up to you whenever you get the lead, and it gets annoying real quick. And finally, some of, there's some of the visible walls I encountered, and it shows up at random times. Smart's Kart performs below average compared to Nickelodeon Kart Racer series and the Mario Kart series, respectively. I give Smurfs Card a 3 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for gaming. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel.